Welcome. Today's tip will be on electronic transmission for MORs. As you may remember, we ran a Tuesday tip in May when HUD published the housing notice H20-04 on electronic signatures, transmission, and storage guidance for multifamily assisted housing industry partners. HUD and the contract administrators have been conducting MORs. HUD announced that the MORs would resume until September 2020. To date, HUD has not made an announcement extending that date. There has been instances where as contract administrators, some of the contract administrators have not been able to perform the scheduled MORs due to an outbreak of the COVID-19 on property. So those MOR reviews had to be rescheduled. There were other instances where there was not enough space or room on the property to social distance to review the file, which brings us to the tip for today. Certain parts of the MOR review have to be done on property. After all, this will be the only chance that the CA or HUD has to physically see the property and the condition of the property. As a contract administrator, we've been asked by several industry partners if the files for the MOR can be sent electronically, and the answer is yes. Again, the reason for today's tip, we suggest that you get with the agency that conducts your MOR, whether it's the contract administrator or HUD, and work out the logistics to determine if you can transmit the files to them electronically. You will need to read Housing Notice H-2004 in its entirety for a full understanding of what is required and contact the agency that you will be submitting the documents to, whether it's HUD or the CA staff, and do a trial run. HUD and the CA may determine certain electronic transmission methods for documents sent by the owner agent. Owner and agents should contact their local HUD field office and CA to determine each agency's submission options and or transmission preferences and the logistics for transmissions. Industry partners choosing to use electronic transmission of documents such as the file must do so in compliance with the federal, state, and local laws. We advise owner and agents to consult with their legal staff about the laws. In addition, the housing notice states that when transmitting documents electronically, the partners must use the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, compliant methods. The documents must be placed inside an encrypted wrapper with an encrypted password. They must also meet the HUD security requirements, especially EIV. There's one thing that we want you to keep in mind, one important thing to remember is that owners and agents may continue to receive documents and process documents in a paper format, if they prefer. Housing Notice H-2004 is not mandatory. This may not work for everyone, so it will be up to the owners and agents if they want to transfer them. Thank you. Be careful, be safe, and we'll see you next week for another Tuesday Tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.